What is up, my Forex for Beginners family? Man, today I am so excited for you. Today is the day you begin your Forex journey. And your Forex journey begins with learning chart analysis. If you're new to Forex, fantastic. You have no bad habits to fix. If you are currently involved in trading, and you're looking to really figure out what trading is all about, then I'm glad you're here because trading is 100% about chart analysis. And sadly, many traders never actually sit down and learn chart analysis. Um, some people think you can trade on your phone by hitting a bunch of buttons. That is not trading. Trading is what investment bankers and big money players in the world, they, they actually learn chart analysis and that's how they make good income from chart analysis trust me they're not doing this on their phone they're actually sitting at a com computer looking at the charts and enjoying this beautiful game that i'm about to teach you okay so you should have your meditator 4 account set up uh, you should have already logged in played around with it you should be a little bit comfortable with that we're going to get more into that later and you should have trading view set up i hope you have the pro plus account or the pro but the, the pro plus account is the best um, like i said you have to use the student discount link if you want to get the discounts and again some students have asked they didn't see the discount but that discount comes during the 30-day free trial so when you sign up for the pro or pro plus account during the 30-day trial trading view will give you a discount trying to motivate you to invest in their um, paid plan and i highly recommend it because what we do as traders we do chart analysis and this is the one tool we absolutely need so i hope you signed up for a new trading view account if you're an existing user Unfortunately, the discounts is only for new users. So if you want the student discount, what I suggest doing is um, ditching your old account and uh, you have to sign up using a new web browser. So, you know, see down here, I have Internet Explorer. I also have Firefox. TradingView actually tracks you by saving cookies in your web browser. So you actually have to use um, a new web browser or or maybe use a um, one of your smartphones or someone else's smartphone that doesn't use TradingView, but you must click on the student discount link and sign up for a new account. That's the only way you will get the discount offers during the 30-day free trial. Okay, but you should already have it set up by now. You should have TradingView. Um, so this is the main page, tradingview.com. We're going to sign in. And my username is CryptoSod, so whatever your username is, password, enter it in and hit sign in. We're now logged into TradingView and TradingView has a lot of things you can do in here. You know, there's, you know, people posting their chart ideas. So once you learn how to do chart analysis, you can actually share your ideas to other people. So it's like a big community. You know, there's all these different tabs. Um, you can explore them on your own, but why we signed up for TradingView is to do chart analysis. So I want you to come right here where it says charts. If you just hover your mouse over it, you may see some chart names. Like these are charts that I've already saved, but yours may say unnamed or it just might not say anything. So you can either click on unnamed or you can just click on charts and it'll load uh, your chart. So just go ahead and click. I'm going to click on unnamed. I created this uh, unnamed chart just for you guys because this is probably what you guys are going to see. You'll probably see a blank chart like this. It'll say unnamed up here. And um, this is the, the default view of how your trading view chart will look. So my plan is to show you everything you can do in trading view and set up your charts and kind of show you around what we do on TradingView. So uh, I'm gonna go into the details of setting up your charts in a few minutes. Right now, I'm just gonna kind of 
get you excited about what we're actually going to do. So we use TradingView to do our chart markups. And then when we have some sort of idea of when we want to buy or sell, we jump into MetaTrader 4. So normally we have TradingView and MetaTrader 4 open at the same time. And that's the point of this lesson. I want you to have MetaTrader 4 and TradingView open at the same time so you can practice what we're going to do. So I'm just gonna go to my desktop here. You guys should have a, a uh, shortcut on your desktop for the broker we set up. Just double click and let's log into MetaTrader 4. Okay, that noise, you should hear a little chime. It's showing us that we've logged into MetaTrader 4. Uh, make sure you're on your trade tab here. You should have your balance showing here and we have no trades open so you should see zero here. You should have a nice blank chart like this. We've set it up in the last in the last lesson and this is now ready to go. If we want to place a trade, we just go to new order, AUD, USD. We're going to focus on uh, and then we can buy or sell. So we're ready to place a trade if we see a setup. So I'm just going to minimize this for now and I'm going to go back to trading view. So um, up here, I want you to first, we're going to focus on Australian dollar versus the US dollar. So I want you to go to the top left here and type in AUD USD and see, so it lists all the different uh, brokers. So right here, these are brokers, you know, FXCM, Owanda, Forex.com, ICE. These are just um, different brokers that are providing data source. So all this price movement is actually data and it's coming from individual brokers. So I use FXCM for my chart data because they're a big broker. Uh, the bigger the broker, the better, the better, you know, more people trading, that means more data, more um, accurate charts. So I use FXCM and then for a backup, uh, I use Owanda and I'll show you later on, um, you know, when we switch uh, different charts and use different brokers. But right now, I just want you to type in AUD USD and I want you to select FXCM. So you should see AUD on your charts here. It shows right here, AUD USD. Uh, I want you to right now right click on this uh, little, these two buttons here. We're not gonna be using these, so I want you to just right click with your mouse. And here where it says show buy and sell buttons, I want you to just unclick it. Also, you might have some volume bars here showing at the bottom. Sometimes you, uh, the default will have a bunch of volume bars here. I just want you to move your mouse over here. You should see, if you see something that says VOL, VOL for volume, just this, there'll be a little X beside it. I want you to just X it out and it'll delete. The, uh, sometimes you have red and blue bars, sorry, red and green bars at the bottom here. You want to just delete them because I want to keep your charts nice and clean. So again, if you have any volume bars here, uh, just go up here, right here. You should see it when you move your mouse, you'll see VOL. Just hit the X and delete that. So all you should see is what you're seeing right now on your charts. You should see it exactly like mine. Okay, so I don't particularly like um, these green and red candles. Uh, everyone likes their chart colors a little bit different, but uh, these are actually candlesticks and they, you know, one color represents price going up and the, and the other color represents price going down. So if you right click on your chart with uh, your right mouse button, and if you see right here, it says colors, it says color theme. So right now, I'm, the default is light. Some people also like the dark theme. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, the green and red looks nice on the black background. You can choose that if you like. Uh, let's go back to color theme. And I'm going to go back to light. And then you can right click again and go to settings. And here you can actually change, if you go to symbols, you can change 
the color of the different things you can you know you can change the color of the candles you know whatever colors you want it's up to you you can play around with it the wicks the wicks are these little lines on top i'm going to talk about the actual candles in a minute and the other major thing i really you know you can change the colors to whatever you want uh, i wouldn't change anything else in here um yeah so you can leave all that appearance background that uh, yeah you can change the background color if you want um see these lines right here these white lines those are the uh, grid lines so you can change that color if you want to whatever color you want um then there's horizontal lines if i go black and black so you can play around with it I think the best color scheme is just, you know, whatever is really simple. You don't want things too bright and just, you want the charts to be really clear. So once you kind of figure out what you like, you can always, like I said, you can still go with, um, you know, you can go with the, um, you can just right click and go to color theme and just, you know, these are the standard colors. But once you decide what color you want, whatever you know you can play around with this go down here where it says template and go save as and then you can save it as new chart color or whatever you want to name it I don't know it's up to you but for me I've saved it I like this uh, where is it mine is like a light gray um, here so this is my color scheme that i like it's you know it's got a gray background it's got uh blue blue uh, candles showing me you know prices going up and then white candles prices going down that's what i like when you can look at my color scheme here you can copy them if you want you can pause the video here and just copy it um events go to events and this is really the only um, important part I want to show you is um, this has to do with news so show economic events on the chart so if this is unselected um, right here sorry this have that checked and then show only future events so if you see down here in the right uh, this is this just shows you that news events are about to be released when you know when price approaches this time and time in on the charts this is when news will come out it has to do with fundamental chart analysis what i'm showing you right now is technical analysis when we mark up the charts it's technical analysis and when we uh, look read news reports that's fundamental analysis so i'm going to go over that in a later chapter i just want you to have news shown on your charts here so you're aware and just hit ok and so now you have you know you should have a template saved for the color scheme you like you have news shown on your charts and now I'm just going to show you a quick example of what we do on the charts like what, what is technical analysis and I'm going to show you that right now so what Forex is it's about trying to determine if price is going up or price is going down you can see that here price is going up the blue bars rep represents price going up and then the, the white bar is going down also known as candlesticks going down means price is going down and then generally you can see here price went up price went down price went up and then price went down then it went up again and then it crashed down so if we can determine based on our chart analysis that hey okay at this level here you know we can see that price came and touched this line once touched this line twice this is known as resistance so I'm going to talk about this all later but I'm just going to do a, like a quick markup here resistance so think of resistance like you know the roof you know price is trying to get above here but it's finding resistance we all know what resistance means it means like something is pushing down so when price is finding resistance that and we draw this horizontal line that represents that's where resistance is 
and when there's resistance price most likely will fall from there and when price comes and hits a bottom see how it hit a bottom here again right here so you can see two touches at the bottom here the bottom is called support right so let me just write that in support and the top is resistance so what trading is about is by doing different markups on the charts combining that with a bit of news release and world events uh, we try to estimate the probability is if price is going to fall if you think price is going to fall from here based on our chart markups then we, what we do is we jump into MetaTrader 4 and we place a sell you know we place a sell trade we set a stop loss like we talked about we don't want one click trading so we set a stop loss like we talked about in last lesson and then we set a take profit and when price goes down we start making money and if price starts going up and it goes to our stop loss like we talked about if we set a if we set our stop loss about here let me change the color we can write this as our stop loss so let me just write this in stop loss let me just delete this stuff here so based on our say our analysis and there's going to be more stuff you're going to learn but i'm just trying to give you a general idea so based on our analysis we see that price came to resistance we believe price will drop from here we set a stop loss to this this level and we're thinking price is going to drop and this is going to be our support area and this will also be our take profit this is where we would close our trade. So if price begins to fall and, and it doesn't hit our stop loss and it hits our take profit, well, that's what happens here. If price starts falling from here, slowly falling, 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 it'll come hit our take profit and our trade will automatically close. We will have a positive um, trade whatever winnings we have it'll go into our balance if price goes against us and hits our stop loss then we'll have a negative value taken out of our our account so that's pretty much what we do so based on chart analysis we determine where we want to have our stop loss we determine based on many factors that I'm going to teach you in the coming lessons that yes around this area I believe price will start going down so what we do is we place a sell and if we are correct then we make money that's what we do that's what chart analysis is and this is a very simple example but essentially this is what we do this is what we do so in the coming chapters I'm going to talk about something I call confluence. So when there's multiple reasons to buy or sell, that's what we call confluence. It's based on various techniques. You know, we're going to learn about candlestick analysis. We're going to learn about support and resistance. We're going to learn about something called exponential moving averages. And based on various markups that we're going to add onto our chart, that's how we determine whether price is going to go up or as price is going to fall. For example, you know, we can also buy. So say price price just fell to here. We see that it, you know, it formed what we call something called double bottom. When price hits a support area twice, then we can start looking for opportunities to buy. So if we think that okay, price just hit this support area, I see a double bottom. Double bottom is something I'm going to teach you. It's about candlesticks. And uh, we determine based on our chart analysis that price will increase. Well, then we just jump into MetaTrader 4. I'm going to close this trade. 
if we believe price is going to go up, we set our, you know, what symbol we're trading, our volume or lot size, type is going to be market execution, so it opens up a trade right away, and we're going to place a buy, and we set a stop loss and a take profit. And based on our chart analysis, we're going to determine uh, how much our profit's going to be. And how do we determine how much our profit's going to be? Well, there's this tool that I'm also going to teach you. Um, it's called the short or long tool. Long means to buy, short means to sell. So in this example, we're, we're buying. So we're going to use the long tool. So if we draw this tool on our chart here, you can reduce it. And, you know, say we're buying right here. Our take profit is going to be up here. Our stop loss is below this last little what we call wick. I'm going to talk about candles in a minute. But what I want you to focus on right here, this risk to reward is showing 3.11. That's telling you that our, based on our stop loss position and our take profit area, for every dollar we risk, we're going to make 3x if price hits our take profit area. So I want you to, uh, I'm going to teach you how to just do some basic markups right now. And then I want you to just put in this risk to reward tool and just practice, you know, this is a buy. So if we're buying, you would draw it like this and it's telling you that based on how much you're risking here, uh, what your take profit is going to be. You can actually double click on this and uh, just for the fun of it, you can put here 500 and say you're risking this is USD, so see, so you can enter, you're risking $10, right? Just hit OK. So what this number is showing here, so it's showing you if your stop loss gets hit, your account balance will drop $10 to $490. But if you are correct in your price analysis and price goes all the way up here, hits your take profit, well, 10 times 3 is 30 your account balance will be $531. So you see how that works? So again, just a recap. We have, you know, we double clicked on this. We entered 500 as our account size and we're risking $10. The $10 risk is our stop loss. So from here where we placed a, um, a buy, let's just write that in, buy. We're risking $10. And if our stop loss gets hit, so if price continues to go down and hits our stop loss area, our account will drop by $10. It'll go to $490. But if our stop loss is not hit and price accelerates upwards and hits our take profit, well, we would have made 3.11. See that risk to reward? For every $1 we risk, we'll make 3.11. So here we're risking $10. So 10 times 3.11 is $531. Uh, well, it's $30, but it would add $30 to our account. We had $500 in our account. So now we have $531. So that's how the risk to reward tool works. And we're going to play with that more a little later. But I just want you to kind of, after I teach you how to use, you know, the basic tools here, I just want you to draw in these simple, simple lines here. When price comes up here, this is what we call resistance. When price comes here, this is what we call support. So you can just go back, mark up more examples, like right here, like, you know, this is resistance because price, price came up and then price dropped down to here. Say we were, we were selling, say we were selling from here, then I want you to practice, use the short tool. So you would just click on the short tool button and then you would click on your chart and then you would just set this to your take profit area and you open your trade so you can move this by just clicking on it. Say we sold right here. So let me write in sell. Say our stop loss was about here, our take profit here. So this is telling us, see our risk to reward is 9.77. So for every dollar we risk here, we would have made nine times our risk. Risk $10, 
risk to reward is 9.77, we would put into our trading account $90 profit. So that's how that works. Whenever you draw in your risk to reward tool here, just double click on it, type in how much you want to risk. So I'm risking $10. And then it'll show you if, if our stop loss is hit, will we be negative $10 and our risk to reward is nine. So if we risk $10, nine times 10 is 90, then we'd have almost $100 profit to go in our trade account. We would just come to MetaTrader 4, place a sell, set our st stop loss based on our, our chart analysis, set a take profit. If you hover over here in this example, we're actually risking $1.87 to make $2.62. So this is just a, uh, an example. Um, where we enter uh, on MetaTrader 4, it all depends on our chart analysis here. So you know, that was a sell example, you know, maybe you, you want to buy here, just do the same thing, right? I want you to, this is support, this is resistance, we're predicting that price is going to go up. We want to just use our, our long tool this time. Long means buy, short means sell. So here, we're using our long tool, just click here, drag it up to the take profit area. We're opening a trade, say about here, our stop loss is here. We're risking $10, so $10, our account balance is 500, we're risking $10. The risk to reward is 5.92. So for every $10 we risk, it, when our take profit is hit, we're gonna have five, this is almost six, so just say five. So 10 times five is 50, so we would add $50 to our account. So that's what trading is, it's just about predicting whether price is going up or price is going down. We look at our stop loss, we, we estimate what our take profit area is going to be and we look at the risk to reward. So we don't really want to care about the money. What I want to teach you is how to risk $5 and turn that into $15. That is a 3x reward. So you can, in this example, you can see the, our, our risk to reward was 6. I'm, I'm going to teach you how to triple your money, but it's not uncommon to make double that, right? This is 6 times your risk. You know, for every dollar you risk, you're gonna make six dollars. This is like common amount of profit that people make six times, not just one, not just two, not just three, but sometimes six plus, you know, like look at this, it went all the way up here, right? Let's just quickly, I'm getting a little excited about what I'm showing you here because when I discovered this, I just, you know, it blew my mind. Like if you bought from here, and look at the risk reward, 12x. You could have risked $10 and made 12 times your risk. And then that just keeps going into your account balance. And this is what trading is. But again, trading is all about chart analysis. I got you all excited now about potential of money you can make. You know, once you learn to risk $1 to make $3. Once you master that, then all you do is increase your trade size and you know instead of risking $10 to make 30, now you're going to risk say $100 to make $300 or your risk, who knows, some people, you know, once you get good, you know, you start risking thousands, you know, maybe you'll risk 1000 and make 3000, but in that example, the reward was 6x, so you could risk $1000 to make $6000 you know, in a couple of days. And that's what trading Forex is all about. And it's why I've been addicted to trading for eight years now. And I've decided to create this training for you guys because I just love this industry so much. You know, no other trade in the world can you learn how to triple or quadruple your money in a, such a short amount of time. And it takes actually little money to start all you gotta do is learn chart analysis, start learning on demo, practice your technique, and once you get confident, you can start with a small account. You don't have to start big. Start with a $100 account, $200 account. And as you get better, your profit just keeps increasing and you'll maybe make this a full-time income for you and your family. It all depends on your dedication and uh, how much you dedicate yourself to learning chart analysis. That's why I'm emphasizing trading view, chart analysis. That's what Forex is about.
Forks isn't about your phone, hitting buttons on your phone. You know, there's a lot of scammers in the industry that want to sell you signals and then you just hit buttons on your phone. That is not trading, please. If you're new to trading, great. You haven't learned any bad habits. But if you're, you know, you've been in trading, you know, when I first started, I kind of, you know, followed a couple scammers and then I got tired of that BS and I decided to buy course after course and after course. I spent four years and I bought seven, eight courses and I just absorbed knowledge and some of the courses were garbage and some of them were packed with too much information. I am creating a course for you that in 30 days you will learn what you only need to know to master the charts. I'm not going to I'm not going to fill your head with a bunch of information. I'm going to give you what you need to know. I'm going to have you practice what you've learned for another month and in two month window you should just have this new outlook on how to trade the charts. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start talking about everything you're seeing on the charts here. We have to learn the tools, right? All these tools, how to use TradingView. That is the purpose of this lesson here. It's going to be an introduction to how to use all the various tools and menus. And let me start right now. So I'm just going to go down here. If you ever want to delete everything off your chart, there's a little garbage can here. Just hit the garbage can. It'll delete everything you've drawn and you have a nice new chart. Make sure you're, this drop down menu here, I'm gonna go over, but make sure you're on candle candlesticks. There's bar charts, but make sure you're on candlesticks. So candles. So right now I just wanna quickly go over what the heck a candlestick is. If you, maybe you know, maybe you don't. I'm just going to give you some brief information. I'm going to go over it more detail in a later chapter, but you see this, look at this blue candle here, or let me actually let me highlight uh, let me highlight this candle right here. So this blue candle uh, is going upward. So you see the white candle means it's going down in the price, and the blue candle means it's going up. So let's just uh, go back to that picture I had. So what is this candle representing? So this candle represents price movement, right? So the right column here is your price, right? Price and the bottom menu here, right here, is time and date. So the candle that's always, it always has a date that it's assigned to. So this candle we highlighted here, uh, you can see, I'm using the crosshair tool, you can see that it occurred on 15th of September, 2020 at 1 p.m. And you can see that on the right side, if we go all the way right, it shows you that price was about 0 0.73040. So this blue candle here, it always has a price price that's shown on the right, and it has a date that's shown on the bottom, date and time. And see, we're on the Australian dollar versus the US dollar chart. We're gonna focus on this. So Australian dollar is the base currency, how you read this is one Australian dollar is worth how much US dollar? So this candle represents price. So on 15th of September 2020, one Australian dollar was worth approximately 0 0.7303 cents. So that's how you read the chart. So it's one Australian dollar is how much US dollar? And that's what this right column is here. And that's what the candle represents. So let's look at the candle. The candle is made up of wicks. So this line right here, in here, this is called a wick. And that represents the high and the low. Right now we're on the one hour chart. That means each candle is worth one hour, one hour of price movement. See this blue candle is going up. That means that when the new hour started price was here price was here and that's based on the right column here so this is where that candle opened and this is where it closed so in in 60 minutes this is where it closed and during that uh, that 60 minute period there was a high price 
which the wick represents, and then there was a low price. But between that 60 minutes, it closed at this price. And that's, you know, we look at the right side column, that's our price line, and the bottom is the time and date. So in one hour, since we're only on the one hour chart, in one hour, price came all the way to this high point. The Wix represents the high points. This is where price opened, and this is where price closed. After 60 minutes, that's where price closed. So let me delete all this. I just want you to know that this is a wick, this is a wick, this is the candle body, and when it's going upwards, this is the open price and this is the close price. And when price is going down, same thing, this is the body, this is where price opens. So notice that it's opposite. When price is going up, the open price is on the bottom. But when price is going down, this is where price opened and this is where price closed. So this is, this is in 60 minutes, price opened here, and then 60 minutes later, price closed here. During that 60 minute period, price, price fluctuated to a, a low of this point and a high of this point. So that's all that I want you to know is the wicks represent the high and the low and the body represents the opening and closing price. That's all I want you to know about the candles at this point. The next thing I want to teach you about this candle is because we're on the one hour chart these are the different time frames I'm going to teach you all, all this means is you can select different uh, time frames and that means what does one candle represent because we're on the one hour chart one candle represents one hour but if I switch to say say 30 minutes let me go find that highlight here so do you see that within that 30 minutes Here's a better view. Within that 30 minutes, two candles formed. Because now I'm at the 30 minute, 30 minute time frame, each candle represents 30 minutes. So I hope you understand that. So when I switch to one hour, one candle represents one hour. When I switch to 30 minutes, now we have each candle represents 30 minutes. So in that same block of time, one hour, we'll have two 30 minute candles and the same goes for any time frame right if I jump to the five minutes then you'll have uh, you'll have multiple candles each 5 10 15 20 will make up this one hour candle right when you click on the different uh, time frames up here it just changes what that one candle represents I just want you to practice switching to different time frames now I'm on the daily chart each candle represents one day in one day, price moved from, from here to here, right? Because we're on the daily chart now, one candle represents one day of price movement. And price went from 0 0.7259 to 0 0.736. And if we use our mouse and the crosshair tools, we can see at the very bottom that this occurred on August 28, 2020. So that's how we um, look at the candles. That's what the candles represent. And when, when I say something like switch to the five minute time frame or the daily chart or the monthly chart or the four hour chart, what I'm talking about is switching to a time frame or whichever time frame I'm talking about. We're, we're talking about the individual candle. I hope you understand that point. Okay, one other thing I want to show you right now is um, say that the chart looks funny or something. I want you to always just right click with your mouse and go reset chart. This just resets it to a new, a better view. Sometimes if you switch to the monthly time frame, see how it looks all stretched out. You can just quickly right click on your chart with your right mouse button and click reset chart.